Hey everyone, welcome to my channel The Tadka Project. Today we're going to show you how to make a South Indian style eggplant stew that is traditionally eaten at breakfast, also known as Katrikai Gutsu or Gutsu. It's flavorful, it's comforting, and it's protein rich. So let's get cooking. For the gutsu, here I have one large Chinese eggplant. You can also use a medium sized regular eggplant instead one medium Roma tomato, one medium sized potato, one dried Kashmiri red chili, two Thai green chilies, half a cup of moong dal, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, three quarters teaspoon of turmeric powder, one to 1.5 teaspoon of summer powder depending on how spicy you want your stew to be, half a teaspoon of hing or asafoetida, half a teaspoon of a jaggery, you can also use brown sugar instead, a 2 cm diameter sphere of tamarind, you can also substitute with half a teaspoon of tamarind paste instead, a quarter cup of raw peanuts, and 10 to 15 gray leaves. To start, we're going to rinse the half a cup of moon dal under cold water till the water runs clear. After which, we'll pressure cook the lentils until soft with a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and two cups of water. We're also going to soak the tamarind in about half a cup of hot water for 10 minutes. Now it's time to prep the veggies. We're going to cube our Chinese eggplant like this. Cube the potato as well. And roughly chop the tomato. We're also going to finely chop the two Thai green chilies. Once the tamarind has soaked for 10 minutes, we want to squeeze the tamarind to get rid of any of the seeds and fibers. You can use a strainer if that's more comfortable. And we want to set the tamarind liquid mixed in with the bulb aside. In a pot on medium heat, we're adding two tablespoons of cooking oil. Here we're using sunflower oil, but you can use any flavorless oil of your choice. Once hot, we wanna add the mustard seeds and wait for it to splutter. Once the mustard seeds start to splutter, we're gonna add in the curry leaves, the Kashmiri chili broken into pieces to release its flavor, and the hing. And we're gonna cook this mixture for 20 to 30 seconds. At this point, we can add all the vegetables and give this a quick saute. We're then going to add in the raw peanuts, the turmeric powder, the half a teaspoon that was left over, salt to taste, and give this all a really nice mix. Now we want to add in the sambar powder and the tamarind water with the pulp, along with one more cup of water for the veggies to cook. We want to mix all of this really well and bring to a boil. We need to boil this mixture till the potato is soft, which is usually a good indicator that everything is cooked. At this point, we can add in the cooked moong dal, the jaggery, and mix all of this really well. 
Once again, we want to bring this mixture to a boil and we just cook for 2 minutes. We can adjust the consistency of our stew at this point if we like by adding in more water to loosen it up. We usually serve this eggplant butsu with pongal, which is a South Indian kichdi, or you can also have this stew with any carb of your choice. The combination of eggplant gutsu and pongal is a traditional South Indian style breakfast or brunch meal that is high in protein, satisfying, and easy to digest. Let me know if you made this recipe and what you paired it with in the comments below. I love to hear from you. And please like and subscribe because I'll be more video videos every Sunday. And I'll see you next time with another dish. Bye!